What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay. So, it has been a while, and I know, I know, it, uh, it's like me always stopping when things start to get good or just when I'm starting stuff and whatever. Anywho, um, as you guys can see right here, we are in the portion of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough where we're going to be going into the Gym Leader Castle and all that stuff. In our, well, let's see, in our last official walkthrough episode, we were at the Stadium Challenge where we went in and, you know, did the Poke Cup. We actually won the very first one, and that was the Pokeball Cup. Of course, we're going to be doing separate episodes for these separate events and all that stuff. Right here, as you guys can see, we're going to be doing the Gym Leader Castle. And in the Gym Leader Castle, there are quite a few things that I want to do with this game when it comes to, you know, battling all these trainers and all that stuff. And that is, I want to use the teams that I used in the past, including in my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Not only that, but I want to use different Pokemon from, you know, past or current walkthroughs that I've had, um... You know, generation one Pokemon that I, I that I've used. I want to use them right here too. And since we've played in quite a few other walkthroughs and all that stuff, quite a few other games and all that, we ha I think we have a nice array of uh, you know Kanto Pokemon. Now, as you guys can see, um, back in back in like what the last winter break, I, I did play Pokemon Red and Blue. I sped it up and I was using different kinds of Pokemon that I've used in the past. As you guys can see, Leonardo, Zoro, Tornado is all part of this, including Thrasher, Sparky. Now, Lola is the Jinx that I used during the game, which, you know what, I'm going to put right here just for this situation. Um, I don't have my Pokemon Red in this whole thing, but I will be registering those Pokemon as well. So... What's going to happen right here is we are going to be playing against, uh, well, we're going to be doing the Pokemon uh, Gym Leader Castle. And it's very simple, guys. You're going to be taking on every single gym. They're going to have at least two to three, or they're going to have three Pokemon trainers. And since we do have two registered sets of Pokemon, what we're going to do first is we're going to start off with our Pokemon Yellow team. And then from there... Whatever happens, happens and all that stuff. Um, just like in our Pokemon Coliseum walkthrough, this game as well will be a week, like uh, a weekend kind of thing where, you know, I have one episode and I can show you guys and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not real. I'm really not. I'm really not trying to do a lot. Try not to put a whole lot on my plate and all that stuff. So hopefully this goes well. As you guys can see, the graphics are a lot better and all that crud, especially since we're playing it on a on a gaming computer. Now, another funny thing thing too, guys, is that the Nintendo Switch has already come out with Pokemon Stadium and I believe Stadium Two. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, I know I could be playing it right there, but I, I choose to use the emulator mainly because, well, shoot, we already have teams made. I, I, I'd i rather just play it right here. And, well, as you guys can tell, every single Pokemon team are leveled up at level 65, no higher and everything, because I think it was Dubasaur, the Venusaur that I had, that finally learned its Solar Beam attack by level, what was it called, um by level 65 so we're keeping it at that other pokemon that you'll see kind of like shocker magnet uh magneto who else did i have? like you know what i'm i'm literally gonna have to go through every single pokemon game that i've played in order to pick out the pokemon that i've used from generation one i know that there's quite a few but as you guys can see, these are the Pokemon team. This is a this is a team that I've used in the past. Now, we could have progressed with this, and <laughs> like I said, we could have progressed with this whole thing right here. But you know, t time is of the essence, right? You know, I, I never really had a lot of time, so kind of went over, way over my head. And so, as you guys can see, we win. Easy stuff, easy stuff from the very beginning. But then once it progresses, you're gonna be you're gonna be challenged and all that stuff. So. Hopefully everything goes well, and so that's one. We're gonna continue on right here, and uh, well, let's see. We're gonna be taking on Lad. I think that's a youngster right here. So here we go, taking on the Lad, and he is uh, 
Yeah, he's mostly poison type Pokemon, so we're gonna go with the usual three right here. Now, again, we're playing in Generation 1, so be aware that most of these Pokemon, like a lot of the stuff that you do in Generation 1, like, or in the current generation right now, it's not gonna be super effective here. Like, let's just say the, the special and physical stats, they're not separate right here. So you're gonna have to think old school, like really, really old school. Uh, Alakazam. Alakazam and Psychic type Pokemon, they are broken. So me using Ultra Cycle right here is probably like, <laughs> it's probably unfair. And, well, here we are taking on Bulby. Okay, so let's go with a Psychic Attack right here and see what happens from here. And here we go, Psychic Attack for the win. And there you go. Look at that. Look at that, okay. So that's another There's Pokemon down, and well, let's Pokemon. see what ends up happening with this last one. Yeah, yeah these are all poison type Pokemon, so yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be an easy, easy kind of battle right here. And well, let's go straight for that Psychic Attack for the win, and there you go. Look at that. Okay, so there goes Ekansi. And it's probably a good thing that I've actually, like, you know, nicknamed my Pokemon. But there it is. Another clean sweep. Now, um, in the regular games, like, you know, the Poke Cup and all that stuff, they do come in with, like, a free a free life, if you will. But right here, you have to defeat every single trainer or else you have to start all over again. So let's go right ahead and take on a trainer number three. And, well, this guy is going to have a mixture of... Okay, so... We're gonna have to go with this guy right here because I know, I know we do have like what what was it called? Uh, we do have an advantage over him, and just for you know, ju just to be safe, we we <laughs> we're gonna be using this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and use Torpedo, and yes, this is the regular Torpedo that I've had in Pokemon Yellow, and well, since we are taking on a a flying type Pokemon. We're gonna go straight for the Ice Beam attack right here, and I just gotta say the graphics right here are just clean, very very clean. I'm going to brag about the I'm going to brag about the, the gaming computer again. Yes, we've done a very good job on this. And uh, well, let's see who's next right here. Taking on Geoster. Yeah, you got. You gotta, you gotta admit that Nintendo has like come up with some pretty funny nicknames right here. So let's go straight for a Surf Attack. And here we go, Surf Attack. Super effective. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. One hit KO right there. And well, let's see. Who's next right here? And we're taking on a Pigeon. So yeah, this guy just like, he wanted to go with normal or you wanted to go flying in and rock type Pokemon or ground type Pokemon. So let's, oh wow, I didn't want to do that. Holy buckets. So we're using double team. And as you guys can see, yes, we're doing a lot of uh, strategic stuff with my Pokemon. And oh, well, here comes the wing attack. Finally got to get hit once. Nope, we don't get hit. So it worked. And well, let's go with straight for the ice beam attack right here. And ice beam, here we go. Oh yeah, super effective. Whoever, whoever thought that you'd have like a, a a level 65 Pidgey out or Pidgey. So there it is, another clean sweep right here, guys. Try not to get too cocky when you're playing this with your very own Pokemon. And well, there you go. Not much, not much done right there. So that right there enables us to go up and play against Brock. And well. Here we go. Taking on Gym Leader Brock, and as you guys can see right here, he does have a nice array of Pokemon. So, the majority of these Pokemon are weak against grass types. But then you got that Vulpix that might throw us for a loop, so let's see. What do all these Pokemon have in common? Screw it, we're gonna go with this guy because, you know, F it, uh oh. And then, we're gonna go with this guy right here. Okay, so, 
Let's go right ahead. I know, I know. I'm, I'm using... <laughs> I'm literally using a very, very broken Pokemon, but who hasn't? And, well, let's go straight for a Psychic Attack right here. And just remember, this is all about speed right here. And there are a few things that can be broken. Like, oh, wow. Critical hit. Wow, okay. So there are quite a few things that are very, very broken in this thing. And um, that is, what was it called? Uh, kind of like Rap Attack. Rap Attack, being par paralyzed, you don't want that to happen because once that happens, bam, you are no longer doing anything. And, well... Let's go right ahead and use a Psychic Attack, and that right there nearly takes out Almanite. So as you guys can see right here, Almanite coming in with a Surf. And that does some damage to Ultra Psycho. It's about dang time, so here we go, Psychic Attack again. Yeah, buddy, okay, so here we go, Psychic Attack for the win. And that right there will take out Almanite. Again, the first gym is always the... It's always the easiest one to take on. And, well, let's see. Who is next right here? All right, on my night. Oh, it's Cubo. Oh, okay. I don't know how, where I got that. So, let's go right ahead and uh, destroy this team with one more Psychic type attack. And that right there, Ultra Psycho, will finish this guy off. And... Well, he stays on top, and here comes a Body Slam attack. This right here might mess us up, and it is not strong enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and just finish him off with a Seismic Toss right here. So here we go, Ultra Psycho going straight for the Seismic Toss, and that right there is a victory. We win. All righty, all righty. Yeah, stage is clear. Okay, so... Yeah, not a lot of our Pokemon got to battle right here, but... That's a very good beginning to the Gym Leader Castle right here. And, well, just like that, guys, we get ourselves a badge. And it clears our way going into Misty's Gym. So, as you guys can see, we are in Stage 2. And, uh, well, we got a lot of stuff, uh, we got a lot more stuff to do. Um, in the next episode. So what I'm trying to do right here guys is this is a weekend only kind of thing We're only doing one episode per weekend that way you guys have some kind of material and all that Yes, I know I'm repeating the whole gym leader castle, but I'm going back to what I know first that way we get to What will be very very entertaining and all that stuff. So thank you guys again for watching Thank you guys again for being very supportive and very patient I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. See you guys